this from Georgetown. We're getting supper started early today, y'all. It's one of my favorites, especially, it's actually one of my favorites all the time, but especially in the fall or in the spring when the weather's starting to get all sunny and pretty again, warm outside and you want to go to festivals and things, slow cooker, pulled pork sandwiches. Now this one, I might be able to cut this thing in half. It is very big. This is uh, almost seven pounds. <laughs> hmm. I think we're gonna cut it in half and we'll put half of it in the freezer because it's not, I don't think it's gonna fit in the slow cooker anyway. I'm gonna freeze a little less than half, but it'll still be about a three pound pork shoulder. I already got the slow cooker sprayed. Yeah, I definitely would not have been able to fit all that in here. We're gonna put some seasoning on here. I'm using the Touch of Cherry rub that we get this from Lowe's. And normally I put apple juice in here, but I forgot to get some this time. So we're just gonna put a little water in the bottom. And that's it, this is gonna cook on low for eight hours. Now we'll get this one in the freezer and boom, that's gonna be a two meal deal there. I couldn't find my regular Sharpie marker. Hopefully this one will write on here. So I can remember what we've got. Pork shoulder. There we go. Now it's time to heat up the coffee and get school started. Very good. What letter is that? The letter C. The letter Z. Zebra. spotted a bird in the front yard. Mainly always likes to see if he can sneak up on them. And grab it and we grab for that's a bat. You think you can catch it? Yeah. Go slow. Uh-oh, there it goes. <laughs> you got close. I found a perfect rock for my collection. Oh, that is a perfect one. Look at that blue sky. We got some clouds, but it's still pretty. The chickens and Miss Turkey are coming to their favorite spot over here under the porch. There's really soft dirt under there. They like to get under there and take their dirt baths. Having fun? Yeah? Okay, y'all, we're back inside. I have about an hour before I need to cook the rest of the food. I'm just gonna make the new potato salad recipe. And I did find another cucumber radish salad, but we have carrot salad left over from last night, so I think we'll have that. I do have some asparagus, though, that we're gonna make with the potato salad and all. Anyway, on the to-do list this afternoon is cleaning out the bathroom drawers. I cleaned up under the sink not long ago, so it's still pretty good. I need to straighten it up just a little bit, but these drawers are in need of some help again. It happens every few months. It's time to clean them out. I got some new drawer organizers that we're gonna try. These are fabric ones. I don't know. I think this is empty. Is this empty? No, it's not empty. <laughs> this, is this a new little soap thing? Yes, new shaving soap. We'll switch Titus's other one out here. It's almost empty. Okay, I'll wash that in a second. A little old spice in there. Brush, don't you love the way the brush sounds in the cup? Um, This is some kind of hair cream that Jacob gave Titus. He got it and then he didn't end up liking it. So it's a styling conditioner cream. Beard oil. I don't know if he uses any of this stuff. Antibiotic ointment. I don't even know what this is. What is this? Oh, it's a tongue scraper. I don't think he's ever used that. This is, oh my goodness, he was so excited about this, y'all. 
It's something to clean your ears, and he's never used it. I mean, I think he might have used one. Like, I don't know if they're single use. I'm assuming they're single use. There's one missing. Well, actually, I don't even know if he's ever used this. I mean, he was super excited about this ear cleaning kit thing. What do we got here? Beard butter. We got beard oil and beard butter. Oh, that's a yum of old stuff. Can mm -hmm. I help? Yeah, you can help. And beard balm. Butter balm and oil. And here's these. What are they? Those are uh, little toothpicks. What is this? I smell that. That is daddy's toothpaste. I smell in there. Okay. Oh, that is just so the next thing on my list is to recover these drawers because this white stuff that they're covered with here, it's, it's struggling. So, yeah, I, and it's broken. Right, I just think I want to remove it and paint the drawers. That's what I want to do. My drawer over here is not too bad. It's not too gray, but it's not too bad. I like this comb. Yes, these are empty. Then what are this? Uh, that's the top to my dry shampoo. Oh, I found some gorilla snot back there. Yeah. <laughs> it's the Gorilla Snot hair gel. And what's that wet thing on him? Somebody gave him a shug shug. Oh, this stuff, y'all, this is not sponsored. I've told y'all about this. I think I've told y'all about it the past couple of springs. It's sandal season, right? Your feet have been hidden away for months. <laughs> you need this stuff in your life. <laughs> if you get dry, cracked heels and feet, even if they're just a little bit dry, I'm telling you, this says visible results in one day, it is true. Like, you put this on one time and you'll see results right away. It's Dermatonics Heal Balm. I'll find a link and put it down below for y'all, but this stuff for real works. You'd have to wear socks with it when you put it on because it's so creamy and thick. Any speck of dirt will stick to your feet like crazy if you don't have socks on. <laughs> y'all it is now almost five o'clock there's just about 45 minutes left on the slow cooker so I'm gonna go ahead and boil the potatoes for the potato salad and I gotta make some tea did I ever tell y'all what happened to my kettle I dropped that thing a couple of weeks ago and it just shattered I mean it completely shattered so let me shut this window we had the window down because it's a warm day so just let it down. We're not gonna peel these potatoes. I'm just gonna slice them with the peeling on. Um, I started to make these in the Instant Pot, but I'm not gonna put eggs in these. When I do potato salad with eggs, sometimes I just put them all together in the Instant Pot and it cooks the eggs and the potatoes at the same time. But I'm not gonna put eggs in this one, so I'm just gonna cook these on the stove top real quick because I had to make some tea back there anyway. And for the asparagus, I'm gonna cook it on the stove top too. The other night, something else crazy, it's like, have y'all ever seen that episode of Bonanza when Hoss has spring fever and like everything he does messes up, everything's just crazy. That's been happening with me here lately. I was kidding with Tyler the other day and I was like, I got the fever. <laughs> That's what they called it on that episode, the spring fever. Anyway, Titus came in late. This was the night he worked until like, I don't think he got home until around nine o'clock. He wanted some coffee to go with a piece of that blackberry pound cake, which by the way, that thing was great, y'all. We still have like two or three pieces left over there. But yeah, I also have a crick in my neck at the moment. We say crick, I don't know if that's what everybody calls it, but you know, I slept on it wrong last night, so it's been hurting me all day. But anyway, when he got home that night, he was like, I sure would like a cup of coffee to have with a piece of that blackberry pound cake. So when he went to get cleaned up, take his bath and all, made a pot of coffee. But before I made it, I was like, I need to wash it because it still had a little bit of coffee left in it from that morning. So I was like, I'll wash it real quick. And I noticed that the thing that holds the filter needed to be washed too. So I took that out, washed it all. So I started the pot of coffee. We drank some coffee, watched, uh, I think we watched a tornado documentary that night. Then I came over here to wash the dishes, the coffee cups and his plate from his cake. And that's when I realized I didn't put the filter Thing in the coffee maker so I just put the I put a filter in with the coffee but not the thing that holds the filter so it was a big disaster I'm surprised the coffee pot wasn't full of coffee grounds but it wasn't it was a good pot of coffee actually but I had a mess inside that coffee maker I had to bring the entire coffee maker over here the next morning because it was still really hot you know that night so I was just like I'll handle that thing in the morning <laughs> so yeah yesterday it was yesterday morning 
I had to bring the entire coffee maker over here and wash the whole thing out. It's just been a pretty crazy week and it's still not Friday yet. Titus hurt his wrist really bad. I think that was the day he hurt his wrist, the day he got home late. This morning when he was eating breakfast, he was like, I'm just gonna have to learn how to shoe left-handed the rest of this week and maybe even next week. But I think he was able to do it with his right hand today. He just pushed through and then I, this afternoon when we were outside, did something where I'm pretty sure these two fingers are sprained, like not really sprained, maybe um, you know how when you're playing basketball or any kind of ball and the ball hits the ends of your fingers and jams them? That's what it feels like with these two fingers. And then I cut this one, so it's just been crazy around here. We all got the spring fever. <laughs> but yeah, I can't bend these two fingers, so if y'all see me holding my hand funny, it's because I can't bend these guys right now. I got the Kinder's Honey Hot Barbecue Sauce to have with the pulled pork. This is my favorite barbecue sauce for pulled pork sandwiches. Jonah and Cece are fishing over there again, bucket fishing. They fish for tadpoles and crawdads. And there's Miss Turkey. She's waiting on some tadpoles to swim by, and she... And she catched a little frog. Did she catch a frog? All right, potatoes are ready. I got them drained. We're just chopping up some onions. I'm using this red onion and some green onion. We're just gonna sprinkle the green onion over the top, though, when we're done. So this is kind of like a loaded baked potato plus potato salad, but it's not baked. You could bake them in the oven and make it that way. I just boiled mine, but you could totally bake them. We'll call it loaded potato salad. So we're just gonna put the onions in, some bacon bits. You could also use the bacon pieces that you can buy at the store, or you could cook up your own bacon. And we're gonna put salt, pepper, butter, and sour cream. I actually already have the butter in there. I put it in when the potatoes first got done so it could melt. So yeah, butter, sour cream, salt, pepper, onions, and bacon. And I'm just kind of eyeballing the measurements of everything, you know, based on how many potatoes I made. Oh yeah, and I'm going to shred up some cheese that we can put on top at the end too. If anybody wants cheese, they can sprinkle it over the top of theirs on their plate. That is great, y'all. Tastes just like a loaded baked potato, only looking like potato salad. It's wonderful. Okay. 